Hi friends. So welcome to today's class. So today's first question is Arun has two solutions of sugar with 30% and 50% concentrations respectively. In what proportion should he mix two solutions to get 45% concentration in the resulting mixture? Okay, so let's analyze the question carefully. So he is having two sugar solutions. So one is having 30% of sugar in it and the second solution is having 50% of sugar in it. So we can tell 30% and 50%. So 30% sugar solution and 50% sugar solution. And in what proportion? And these two are combined together or these two are mixed together in order to form a 45% sugar solution. So the resulting mixture will be having 45% of sugar in it. So how much of 30% sugar solution should be taken and how much of 50% sugar solution should be taken and mixed so that the resultant will be having 45% of sugar solution. So that's the question here. Okay, so how to do this problem? So whenever some combination comes, here we can see 30% and 50% combined together to form a 45% sugar solution. So whenever such a combination comes, we can use the rule of allegation. So what is allegation? According to the rule of allegation, when x and y are combined together to form z, then we can say the proportion of x to y, that means x is to y, is given by y minus z is to x minus z. So the proportion of x and y will be given as y minus z is to x minus z. And these need not necessarily be y minus z and these need not necessarily be x minus z. It should be positive quantity. So that's the only rule. So actually we have to find out the difference between z and y and we have to write it here. And we have to find out the difference between z and x and we have to write it here. So if we are writing the difference of y and z here and we are writing the difference of x and z here, then we can get the proportion of x and y as the quantity which we get here. Suppose it is w and this is v means x is to y will be given as w is to v. So how can we apply the same rule here? Same rule of allegation can be applied here since here also two quantities are combined together to form a resultant mixture. So we can use the same rule of allegation. So 30% is combined with a 50% sugar solution in order to get 45%. So what's the difference between 45 and 50? It will be 5. And what's the difference between 30 and 45? It is 15. So we can just uh, cancel this. So we'll be getting 1 is to 3. So the proportion in which the 30% sugar solution should be mixed with the 50% sugar solution is given as 1 is to 3. So that is our answer here. 30% is to 50% is given as 1 is to 3. So we got our answer. So just an important thing to note here is that all these three quantities must represent the same thing. Here 30 is representing the percentage of sugar in the first solution and 50 is representing the percentage of sugar in the second solution and 45 is representing the percentage of sugar in the resulting solution. So that's the thing you have to remember when applying the rule of allegation. So just you have to find out the difference and then you will get the proportion. Okay, now let's go to example number 2. In what ratio must T8 rupees 62 per kilogram be mixed with T8 rupees 72 per kilogram so that the mixture must be worth rupees 64.50 per kilogram. So here you can see 62 per kilogram. So that is the cost price of first T. And the cost price of second T is 72 per kilogram. So they are mixed together in such a way so as to get the resultant mixture at 64.50 per kilogram. That is the cost price of Resultant mixture is rupees 64.50 per kilogram. All the three are representing the same thing. This is representing the cost price of the first T. This quantity is representing the cost price of the second T. And this is representing the cost price of the third T. 
So we can obviously apply the rule of allegation here. So how to find the proportion of this t to the second t? So that's the question here. So we have to find out the difference between 64.5 and 72 which is given as 7.5. And the difference between 62 and 64.5 is 2.5. So the ratio will be given as 3 is to 1. So the ratio at which the T at 62 per kilogram must be mixed with 72 per kilogram is given as 3 is to 1. And this is found by the rule of allegation. Let's see one more example. So gold is 19 times as heavy as water and silver 9 times. In what ratio should these metals be mixed so that the mixture may be 15 times as heavy as water? So in all the three cases, the weight when compared to water is given. So gold is 19 times as heavy as water and silver is 9 times as heavy as water and these two are mixed together or these two are combined together to form a mixture which is 15 times as heavy as water. So we can use the rule of allegation for so 19, 9 and 15. So the proportion will be given by the difference of 15 and 9 is to difference between 15 and 19. So the difference between 15 and 9 is 6 and the difference between 19 and 15 is 4. So therefore the required proportion is 6 is to 4. So that is given as 3 is to 2. Thank you for watching.